What's up guys, Andrew Freed here. I'm gonna show you a ghost note inspired groove today in D minor. There's gonna be a cool little lick at the end of it and then we're gonna break it all down measure by measure. Here it is. <laughs> So you could obviously tell ghost notes are super funky. They're one of my favorite things to do and they really add such a flavor to a groove. There's a couple different techniques of ghost notes that we're going to be paying attention to and especially the muting and just the certain elements that make them pop in a groove. Let's look at this first measure. I'm in D minor and if we look at the first group of the measure, what I'm going to be doing here is playing the root, then the flat 7 which is C. Once I play these two notes, I'm going to follow it with a raked ghost note. What a raked ghost note means is the finger that I choose to play is then going to strike through all the strings in one motion. When I said all the strings, I really just mean however many you choose. I have a four string, I'm going to play the D and the A string in a raked motion. Let's try that together. doesn't really matter which finger you use. Whichever finger is striking that G string, that's going to be the one that rakes through. The next note we're going to play is the 6 of D, which is this B. Then I'm going to do another raked ghost note, but I'm going to rake all the strings I got. So muting is essential here. Pretty much any time I play a note, and then want to play a ghost note, my finger has to be draped over the strings. If this hand is not touching the strings, you can't get the ghost note sound. So make sure that you practice really feeling comfortable kind of just laying the hand over there without pressing down. Muting is the number one key of ghost notes. Let's put together those two clusters. A little faster. The next part of this measure is we're going to play the second into the flat third of D minor. Then we're going to play the B to the octave. And then what are we going to do? Another raked ghost note. To this lower flat seven before resolving back to D. So that together would be like this. Let's go over the whole first measure slowly now. Pay attention to that muting. I like to keep my whole hand over. The second measure starts the exact same way, with the root to the flat seven with the raked ghost notes. When I get to this E string here, I'm going to play the lower flat third of D, which is F, and then I'm going to play the octave of that, and another raked ghost note, before going to that open E. Let's play it up until that open E. At the end of this measure, I'm going to do a little pentatonic turnaround to the, into the third measure, which is going to be G hammering into A, then to the flat third of D minor, before resolving. Let's put that whole measure into play. Mm -hmm. 
Another thing to keep in mind is a lot of ghost notes success is from the cutoff of the sustained notes. What I mean by that is if I play a note, I like to lift up right away, alleviating the pressure and to cut off that sound. And that just kind of goes with that funky sound is that short staccato like sound. But in combination to the lift, muting is essential. You might get some unwanted harmonics ringing out. We don't want that. So just make sure that you mute the string. Good news about the third measure. It's the same as the first. So we just have that. So we're going to skip that third measure and now go into the last one. The last one is a cool lick. There's no ghost notes in this. I know it's a ghost note groove, but I wanted to throw in a lick that we can apply over any minor key. So what we're going to do here is start on D. We're going to play up to this F. So it's the first three notes of D minor, and then I'm going to build an F major seven arpeggio from this F, from the flat three. So just that F major seven arpeggio would be F, A, C, E, F, the octave. I'm treating this F, A, and C as a 16th note triplet. Let's try that a couple times. Now to end the lick, what I'm going to do is an enclosure to our target note of D. What an enclosure is, is when you have a note before and after, then landing on your target note. This can be applied vice versa either way, but in this enclosure, we're going to do the half step below D, the whole step above D, and then finally land on D. To officially end this lick, I am then playing the fifth, which is the A, and then I'm going to play the second of D, which is E, sliding into the flat third, back to the second. So from the enclosure, let's try that. Let's play the whole lick together. Now we got the whole groove. Let's play it together slowly. Remember, we have these raked ghost notes, then we have that cool little enclosure type lick at the end. Take it slowly, focus on your muting, and play along with me. Here we go. Faster. So this is a really cool groove and it really is a great way of helping boost your ghost note game. I really, really am serious when I talk about muting and just getting that feel for this. I have tons of courses coming out on ghost notes and a lot of other content. I'm gonna be releasing tons of lessons on YouTube. So please subscribe, leave a comment, let me know if you have any questions about anything and good luck. See you guys next time. Peace.